Okay, so for the next month in July, um, interesting, we have Vacuum Away Fair. So again, this is really strong for 2012. A lot of energy clearing. That's because um, we've been living in a three-dimensional world, what, what they call the 3D reality. And in that, there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of negative negativity basically a lot of people still holding on to that fear and the old ways they're scared um they're they're scared of change um and and so this is all processing out as we're reaching higher levels of existence and we're ascending to the fifth dimension and beyond so um vacuum away fear really um represents again um, removing the negative energy and disassociating it from yourself. So you can call upon Archangel Michael, uh, also Raphael, to help you with that. To lift away um, any fear-based energies from you. Um, so I really encourage everybody to do these things daily, twice a day, morning and night. It's really important. You will notice a huge difference and it's coming through so strongly. And I'm, oh, okay, I'm getting that it's also relating to our health really really strongly Raphael's coming in to say um that we have to protect our energies for our health as well oh feeling this really strongly and I'm also feeling it in my heart why is it in my heart okay and then that's also relating to relationships and pain in the heart okay so when you're around um hurtful relationships or situations um then it's it's yeah I'm getting a lot of sense of um of hurt from relationships being now that might be current or, or past relationships so uh, vacuum or vacuuming away all that fear shielding yourself and doing all those techniques is really vital to protect your emotional well-being um, to protect your heart and your feelings and also your health there's your mental health um, and also physical health and physical health is coming through really really strongly so we are getting loaded with toxins um, and these toxins are coming from uh, the environment and from foods and um, even water and, and drinks and other people's energy. And it's really, really affecting our health. So be aware of that and look to uh, natural alternatives. Look to improving your diet. Look to possibly trying gluten-free, eating more vegetables and fruit. Organic is best. Um, you know, um, clearing yourself, drinking a lot of water, all those things are coming through is really important. So follow any guidance that you get for that as well. But physical health, watch that. Um, then in the next month for August, there's a real sense of endings and beginnings. So that's in the eighth month. So it also represents um, abundance. Um, so it can relate to that aspect of your life as well, your finances. Um, but really it's your whole life um, and everything leading up to then I'm getting so for the first six months of the year you're going through all these processes you're coming out of your shell and you're releasing cutting cords um, being aware of energy protecting your health and going back to your inner self and your wisdom and that is leading to um, the end of the old ways and the beginning of the new and this is on a universal level but also for yourself personally the key message here is that the old needs to be released. Why does the old need to be released? Because um, the old needs to be released so that the new can enter. The new cannot be as new and fresh and wonderful if there's still old remnants hanging on. So major theme, get rid of the old remnants. Work on that. Make it a project. And, um, and that way you will be more connected with yourself. Your intuition will open up like a flower. Um, and you will have that wisdom that you're seeking. There's really that connection again with the wisdom. And we have the inner wisdom and connecting with, um, with higher wisdom as well and higher source. After August, in what's the next month? September, we have uh, true love. And this is really interesting here. So before when I was feeling the broken hearts and the, the sadness, um, I, now we're moving on to true love so there's really a couple of different meanings here one is in terms of relationships so reigniting the flame in your current or a previous relationship or finding a romance and or a new connection and 
there's really stirrings in your heart. Your heart has been stirring, stirring, stirring. Your heart is broken as well, but it's been stirring for, for love. It, just oozing, oozing, wanting love. So um, the universe is wanting to deliver this great love to you. So have faith that um, you will have improvements in your relationship and stay in that frame of mind if you do all the things that I said. <laughs> um, and also... Um, yeah, it's also representing general love, so divine love, and um, that basically means that um, the way the world is changing right now, we are opening our hearts to love with all people. So that could be your friends and you know your family, but also strangers and, and other people around you. When you start to look at people and situations with love, everything changes, and that's what the message is representing. And I have the image of flowers blooming. So. As you bloom and awaken and open yourself up to love, it spreads like a domino effect. And that is the, and if you can imagine that little domino effect and all these hearts opening up and connecting, that is the essence of where we're um, heading to. That is the essence of Ascension 2012 and so on. So there you go, that's it in a nutshell. In the next month in October, we have the singing and dancing cards. I think that's interesting, before we had the goddess and the dancing. So um, expressing yourself uh, through movement, so that might be dancing, um, that might be other forms of movement such as exercise, um, or just um, movement in your life such as moving forward with your career, moving forward with your dreams, moving forward, moving house, moving environments any kind of movement in your life. So I'm really getting this ushering of movement and this like greenery and grass, so representing fresh new beginnings. So um, the message is really clear here that a new path is, is unfolding. And so that's really three quarters through the year this is happening. So all the work that you've done is leading towards this. Um, and as you do this, your psychic senses will again um, open up more. Um, and also this can signify music, so whether that's playing an instrument or singing um, any kind of music, so listening to music, um, anything at all that's musical. So music and movement is um, really powerful for September. Okay, and then for... Sorry, was that October? October, yes, that was October. So the next month in November, we have the Heart Chakra. So I really see the flow happening here. So um, the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So again, that really represents what I was talking about before. And it's, um, it's really, really clear and strong, this message. Um, and the heart chakra also is the energy center in our heart. So um, again, that's a little sign to, to work on clearing our heart chakra and knowing that it's safe to open up our hearts. Oh, and I feel so many of you have resistance. You don't want to open up your hearts. And fair enough, you've had um, pain and you've had um, you know negative experiences and so on. And you've closed up your heart like this, but it's safe to open up your heart. It's safe to trust again. Okay, um, then for December, the end of the year, we have infinite supply. Um, so the card says, you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And really it's a, it's a message that to be rest assured that um, you will be provided for. Um, you have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. And that's a really apt message for December because, you know, there's all the talk of um, the 21st of the 12th of 2012 being a significant date. Um, so there is going to be a lot of fear energy around this year and leading up to it. So don't buy into the fear. Um, do all the spiritual work. Work on yourself. Open yourself up and know that the universe will provide for you. Um, and there are flowers that are being promised to bloom um, and, and freedom that awaits before that. So uh, thank you for listening and I wish you a beautiful 2012. And if you'd like to communicate with me, I'd love to hear any comments or questions. Um, Facebook is the best place. Um, so I'm Natalia Kuna on Facebook. Um, come like my page and have a chat um, or you can comment here if you like. Um, so, have a beautiful year. Namaste.